As we move toward the end of April, doctors say a lot of people are still coming down with the flu. Crystal Chen's here with a look at what's going around. Crystal. Good morning, Bruce. Well, that's right. Last week we mentioned a spring flu, and this week we're seeing that it's really not going anywhere anytime soon. Severe allergy sufferers, hate to say it, but doctors say they're also expecting another four to six weeks of all that pollen. We're going to take a look at our sick weather map first, and starting in Jacksonville, just looking at what some of the people are posting about, it looks like a lot of people over on the west side still dealing with the flu. Allergies and strep throat are also a problem down there. When I checked with the care spot in Duval County, it looks like a lot of people also coming in with with strep throat, ear infections, and of course sinusitis. We're going to head down to Clay County over in Middleburg just to see uh, some of what they're talking about down there. And it looks like sinus infections and allergies are a problem down there. The two are probably linked together. They're also dealing with a stomach bug that we're also seeing down in St. John's County. Let's take a look at what people in St. John's County, especially down in St. Augustine, are talking about. Checking out there. Uh, one more time. <laughs> All right, so let's see what they're talking about. It looks like flu is also a problem down there as well as a stomach bug. And checking up in Nassau County at the care spot in Yulee, they've had several cases of strep throat, flu, and sinus problems. And again, that's probably leading to an upper respiratory infection. Now, the president has just signed a bill to speed up the search for a Zika virus cure. More cases have been reported in Florida, three especially from South Florida, and some are comparing it to the beginning of the AIDS epidemic. But is it enough to change your summer, your summer travel plans, especially if you're pregnant? Here's what you need to know if you're planning to head out for the summer vacation. Like most young couples, Rhonda and her husband are thrilled to be expecting. This is our first baby, and of course, when it's your first, you're like extra precautious. Rhonda was planning a trip down to Puerto Rico for her, a tough choice. Microcephaly, or small head syndrome, is exactly what expectant mothers fear. But Rhonda also did her homework about the media buzz. Talks about, oh, over 4,000 cases, when in actuality, from the research that I've done, it's probably more so like 400. Researchers are still learning more about the ways people control track the virus. Any type of transmission from a body fluid, so kissing can do that, uh, sex can do that, a blood transfusion uh, can do that, but the vast majority are going to be from the mosquito bite. Dr. Altshuler says symptoms aren't always obvious. Parents could have cold or flu symptoms, fever or rash. Still, he says, it can't hurt to be too cautious. Until they, the CDC and the World Health Organization really say, okay, this is what we found, uh, perhaps you should stay away. Fortunately for Rhonda, organizers canceled the conference, taking Zika off her list of mom to be worries. Now, experts at John Hopkins suggest that if you are traveling this summer, especially if you're pregnant, don't forget to pack an insect repellent containing D and Picardin, which are both safe to use during pregnancy.